Welcome back. Panel is here. NBC News Chief Foreign Affairs Correspondent Andrea Mitchell, Democratic pollster Cornell Belcher, Lonnie Chen, a fellow at the Stanford University's Hoover Institute who hasn't been here for a while because he was an active candidate for office in 2022. Sorry you've lost, but we're glad to have you back. Uh, and Amy Walter, Editor-in-Chief of the Cook Political Report. All right, Andrea, I know you have a ton of reporting to share, but I want to take a step back. Yeah. The lack of benefit of the doubt that Republicans are giving this administration, on one hand, due to our current politics, that shouldn't be surprising, but even on this, right? Well, partly there is bipartisan, a bipartisan majority on the Hill against China. Right. This is reminiscent of the Cold War, the evil empire. There is so much antipathy to China, so that's feeding this. I mean, they know that they've hit a hot button. And you could argue, as politics aside, you could argue that the administration did not get out in front of it. And even Democrats well, They let the media dictate the, exactly. we, the uh, release strategy, if you will. Our colleague, Courtney Kuby, was, was breaking it. Yep. And so they, they hurried up and briefed the Hill. They hurried staff at the staff level because right. none of the members were still in town and could go into a secure facility. And at, at that point, you know, they quickly came out at the Pentagon briefing. But that's not the same as sending out someone with a lot of metal on his chest. Yeah. Like a Colin Powell desert storm. You've got the maps. Try to explain. He's a general their... nobody had known. I mean, no offense to that general. But it, was, it wasn't the chairman of the Joint Chiefs. And he's not it military. He's now a press spokesperson. Right. So he's a public affairs official. And the fact that you didn't have a commander come out and try to, try to credibly claim we can disable it, we can exploit data from it, we can, you know, Obviously, they can use lasers. Right. They can do things against that big payload that Congressman Turner was, was talking about. They can disrupt the comms. Right. Th there was some value in letting it go across. And, you, you know, but as uh, Jeremy Bash said last night on Nightly News, we have to develop technology to take something out like this without worrying about debris falling. We have to have, be better prepared. And, yes, they do have better... Yeah. They have, they have satellites, obviously. Uh, right. Somebody said to me last night from the, the administration, yeah. this was a Dukes of Hazard operation. Yes, but they still were able to they, they, penetrate they tested our, our space. They tested our, 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 essentially our electric fence. Right. The politics of this, Cornell, not surprising anybody here. I mean, my goodness. Should Congress take a harder line on China? Should, <laughs> I mean, you know, it, we have it. It's across the board. It's nearly universal. Three and four voters believe this. And it's, you know, 70 percent of Democrats, 70 percent of independents, 82 percent of Republicans. There is no uh, downside to being tough on China. No, and that's the problem, right? And, and we, that's, problem. that's that's the problem because our politics get in the way. And, and this and this and this and this, you know, shows it, right? We have a balloon. By the way, this is not the first time they've used balloons, or, or, or and we use balloons. In fact, we are increasing our, our budget for balloons, right? And they have these things called satellites. They're up there all the time. Mm -hmm. But this was a visual. This is Top Gun. This is Maverick. So the politics of it get it, get involved in it in a way, and it, and it gets overhyped. But and this is and why this is the problem because Chuck, I'm a Gen Xer. I remember in elementary school yeah. hiding under a desk, right. you know, during those during those drills. And are we headed for another Cold War? And, and is it necessary? Are we are we diving head first into another Cold War with China and where we are military spending and and Japan? Guess what Japan's doing? Japan is increasing its military budget. Yeah. This is heading in the wrong. This, the politics of this will get us sideways. It sounds like we already in a Cold War. Well, the problem is that the politics interfere with our ability to actually solve the problem we have, mm -hmm. which is that we are in a strategic competition with China. Do we really have the political environment now to actually do something about it? Let's not forget, by the way, one in four Americans use TikTok. TikTok is effectively a surveillance tool. Yeah. So why are we talking about a balloon when we're not talking about all these things that are on our phones? Right. right? I mean, well, and, some and, of us have not put TikTok on our Well, I haven't, yeah. right? But, <laughs> but maybe your kids have, right? So well, I mean, this is, this, this, is, this is the problem, is that we need to be serious about this competition and figuring out what the policy alternatives are to actually deal with this. Well, and that's the thing, Amy. That, I think that the Chinese are learning a little something about our reaction, uh, and some may absolutely. say overreaction to this. Well, and our division, which only helps right. to make this much more difficult. And the question, I think, we have a couple of things that haven't been answered yet. Why now? Why do something as obvious as this, right? We have TikTok. Why do a balloon? What was going on here? By the way, good luck, and, TikTok, of thinking you're going to get some yeah. side deal now. <laughs> yeah. Right. Jeez. Right. This is, yeah. I'd say that balloon Timing popped. is not good. Right. The, yeah. the, but the, well, timing, yeah. the timing right before the Secretary of State is supposed to yeah. go to China. Why do that now? What was that supposed to do? And is this derailing? 
our new outreach to China, diplomatic outreach, or is it just delaying it? And if it's delaying, which it probably is, what does it look like come next? We're not outreaching. This diplomatic outreach, we are doing everything we can to slow their economic growth. I mean, if you're in China's shoes, you know, this is, we are, we have decided, look, we were wrong. The 40-year consensus about China, we've now decided, was well, wrong. Not, well, corporations well, aren't pulling back. N- not yet, not but we're trying, to, incentiv- we are, we're trying we are to incentivize trying to incentivize corporations. It, but it's so, not yes. happening. Take but a look no wonder at, China wants to come at us. No, exactly. Now, yes, President Xi and President Biden agreed on this in November in Bali, and they wanted this meeting that was going to take place this weekend, this very day. That said, look at it from President Xi's he, perspective. He wants a reset. The, in the entire relationship. We just did export controls, the chip bill. Oh, we've They're reset the relationship, Andrea, just right. not on his terms. And the Philippines, that that was a real trigger, as well as a new marine base in Guam. Yeah. So there are things from their perspective to blow this up. Someone said to me, well, did the military undercut Xi? Well, I talked to a top military official, a former official who said, Xi knows everything. There's no question about G knowing everything. So they wanted, they knew that we were not going to be able to hold this meeting. The question now is what, what comes next? What comes yeah. next? All right. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.